Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in the last episode, we got our red circuit plant online and ready for business. All right, this is going to keep on going. Our trains are going to bring more materials and uh, we'll be able to get stuff done. We do want to create a train here that will take red circuits back to the main base. Right now, we don't have any other use for red circuits. Uh, we'll need them for blue circuits, but that is a different thing altogether. We want to get this train organized to have um, things ready. Okay, good. I think what I'll do is I'll just... Um, We want to reserve the cargo slots in the train, of course. There's our coal train. Nice, working it out, doing well. Okay, great. Now then, copy, paste, paste, paste. Good. And this guy is going to be red, we hope. Red, red. Okay. Now then, this is RC1 pickup. I'm going to take our train, our regular building train. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to take our regular building train. I'm going to leave the train here because at the moment we don't have a place to park it at all. Um, otherwise, we're going to just block the main line. So I want to go down and just fix this. And we have fast running speeds. So we can always catch it again later. It's really not a problem. Okay, there we go. Now then, what do we want to do with this? Is this going to be red circuits? This might actually be red circuits and we're just not aware of it. That could very well be. Um, if that is the case, I think what we could do is just bring them in a little bit at a time there. Let's just have these nanobots do this stuff. Okay, good. Um, I would like to have red circuits come down maybe through here. We only really need two of these guys, we do not need four. Well, there's a bunch of fish here. Hello, fish. Uh, let's get to making uh, walking speed, shopping speed, whatever. Uh, we'll do this instead and just get these guys off. Okay. And this is going to be red circuits coming into the base. I always wish the reach distance was a little bit longer, but that will do for now. Actually, we could put these here. Okay. Red circuits coming in down here. There we go. And now we have a place where green circuits are made. We could actually remove the green circuit array if we wanted to. So far, this has only been really supplying the mall. That's all we have, in fact. That's all we have all together is the mall. So, um... Gosh, what are we going to do about this here? This is <laughs> a tangled mess of interesting. <clears throat> interesting is a good word for this. All right, we could do this. Okay, there we are. We have one, two. Yeah, that should be fine there. Okay, good. Well then, so now we can get some of these things in here. We now have need for them. This is going to be called uh, red circuits, or what did we call the other one? Did we call them base? We call them power, I think. Power, coal, drop-off. Um, we're just going to call this base RC drop-off. I think that should be fine. 
Now then, we need to get fueling to happen here, I think. Well, actually, we don't. Uh, technically, it's happening up here already. So that's not terribly necessary. Whoopsies. No, I didn't really want it to do that. My fault, though. I thought I would just, um... I thought it would stop adding, or stop subtracting. I thought it wouldn't catch on the power poles, so to speak. Uh, we do need, prefer filter inserters, actually, here. Which we need to program for ourselves. Okay, let's go there. Good. Now these guys are going to be for red circuits only. Just run. Okay, nice. Now then, we do need our train. Oh, wait, we already made a train, didn't we? I think we did. All right, let's go program it. It is here. This is our red circuit train. Good. So, red circuits. I think we're going to start with the base station. So we know, okay, this one goes to the base. We want to say inventory empty there. And then at red circuit pickup, we're going to say inventory full. Okay, so go. Can it go here? Cannot. Oh, yes, because I haven't connected it. <laughs> yeah, that would make a difference. Uh-huh. All right. So what I think I want to do for this, we do need to make sort of parking lots here. And let's see. I like the straight ones. We need this one instead of the other one. And it will be here. So I want this to serve several stations. So I'm going to add this to be... And this can be at the highest point, in fact. Um, whoa. No, no, no. This is not going to work at all, is it? Shoot. In any case, we can just put it here. And that'll be okay. I forgot to factor in the distance for the in-out thing. I just realized that now. It's like, no. <laughs> no, game. Why did I have to forget such a simple thing? Uh, but no, I don't want to do this this high or this low, do I? Not at all. Okay. Sorry, you know what? I'm just giving the nanobots exercise. It's a thing. It's fine. They're good at this. We actually want to put this further up. And the reason for that is if we have other stations underneath that parking they won't be able to fit so we definitely want to change this a bit i want to have this let's just let's get out the parking lot again and then we'll base it from that okay so we had it over here approximately let's go upward like this we got to shift do this one because it's a bit long there we go Okay, do we need other things like more rails? We probably need more rail. Yeah, we're a bit short. Just a tiny bit short. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we're done with rails. We've got to go get more. We will adjust that in just a second. It's funny because people tell me that they never plan big enough and uh you know here i am i've played this game so many times i've played many many i've played what's well, 1400 hours nearly 1500 now and i still forget things and i still don't plan big enough because you can always build bigger i think that's probably should be the motto of factory or something <laughs> you can always build bigger you know do not satisfy yourself with building small you can do better Come on, let's go, let's go. Okay, so we want to do a rails in, right? Oh wait, we need a, this thing, like this. And then we need our rails in. So this is where our main line is actually going to be, not, not these things at all. 
Okay, and then we'll actually we can do this. We can just oops, come on. Copy. Put these rails out here. And we'll take this stuff off. Recycle that. Come on. There we go. And then have a proper line instead of just fiddling all the time with you know sort of temporary things, which I'm not a fan of, really. Come on, there we go. I kind of had this feeling when we built this bit, I thought, you know, that looks awfully short. So anyway, we're fixing it now. It's going to be good. Okay, take off this, take off this chain signal here. We don't need it. And those signals. Um, and then this is going to need a T-junction here. Do, 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 and take this signal off. Go away. Boom. Okay, good. Come on. There we go. Looking pretty good. We're out of... No, oh, hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Hello, train. How you doing? It's fine. All right, do, why are these lights not connected? Okay, it looks like we're just like one tile short or something. All right, nanobots, good, good. Now then, let's get our rails in again. Blueprint, I love these blueprints. They do work so well. I used to do these all manually by hand. Um, and then it's just like, why not just make a blueprint for it? But of course, back then... Um, when I was doing the Belt Diva series, there was no such thing as, oh my goodness, hello. Nice, okay, it's already delivering. Oh, this is great. Is this the first delivery or there have been more? I don't even know now. Oh no, that might be the first. It's probably the first because it, it probably took quite a while to fill up that train. Oh no, but we had set it to going already. But anyway, there are no red circuits on the line just yet. Oh, and we haven't even connected them. Silly me. So we need to connect the red circuits. Um, one's going to go here. Oh, there's a little yellow belt. Hi. Oopsies. F. There we go. It doesn't do to leave your little yellow belts lying around. They are not very happy by this. No, no. Okay. There we go. Now then, do the same thing over here. Why is this three across? I think I'm, I fluffed it a bit. <laughs> it should. Oh dear. Uh huh. It's it's okay. Doesn't quite check out. That apparently should be one more. Should be no. That's it's okay here. Hmm. Somewhere I messed this up but it should be going like that instead. Okay, there we go. didn't take that long to fix it. It's fine. Okay, great. So now we can actually make things. We're <laughs> yay, we have stack inserters ish. Uh, I'm going to limit this to more stacks instead of just one. I can grab those out. This is very very nice. This is very good. We have a couple of stack inserters which we can add to the world. Yay. All right, I really should do something with these materials. People have suggested, hey, why don't you burn the wood? It's like, there's only like, not even a full chest of wood. Well, maybe one full chest of wood uh, to go around. So it's kind of like, uh, do I want to bother even dealing with this right now? Probably not. Uh, all right. So what we can do, however, is research advanced oil processing, uh, which we need red circuits for. Uh, do we need other things for this? Let's just check out our 
blue science. I've kind of forgotten what goes into blue science. No, it just needs engines, uh, mining drills, and red circuits. So we can build this. I want to build it maybe down here. Has all the science, oh my god, has all the science been done by our little, uh, yeah, it has. <laughs> by this little test base. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Uh, what we could do, though, is have science made at another place. You know, this could be the mall place, but then we could have a, a, a separate outpost for science only. That, that could be a thing. Um, I know that everybody's, a lot of people, well, not everybody, but a lot of people have said, hey, make, make one thing in each of the, um, assemblers. And it's like, no, I'm not doing that. That's just a pain in the socks. It's not needed. Um, can you just imagine like making iron pickaxes here and then something else there? So it's not very practical. And if you don't have experience with the game, uh, then you might make that suggestion. But if you do have experience, you just know that it's a real severe monumental pain in the socks so uh the thing about it is we could have this be our mall should we have another base somewhere else i don't know i'm very tempted to just start like making modules here instead of science <laughs> but we do need science so i could set up all the sciences that is another option i could just get out the blueprints because the blueprints have already been I'm going to just use those and I will tell you how to make those if you want to know. Oh, wow. This was connected to our only power source. Really? How could that be? Oh, because I, I deleted a power pole here earlier. I know that. I remember that. That's weird that it was connected through the bottom somehow. That's very strange. Um, hmm. Science also takes a heck of a lot of resources to run. In fact, it takes the most resources of anything to run. Uh, I, I'm going to put it over here. I can't be asked to make another outpost. I'm making so many outposts in this game. It's like, no, <laughs> I'm done. All right. So, well, not totally, totally done. But here we have red and green science. We might have to update some of these blueprints. I'm not quite sure. I think they're all okay, but we'll see. Anyway, these guys are designed for a particular science ratio. Um, is it, I don't remember what it is, but it's, it's, uh, to make two per something. What are they making? Science pack two, and we have one, two, three, four, lots of them. They make they make stuff. Uh, I don't remember what the ratio is, but I know that it's higher than the one per second. Is it two per second? Is that what it is? Let's see. Okay, so it takes five seconds to make one, and we have ten of them. So that's, yeah, two per second or two per cycle. These guys, they have a crafting speed of 0.75, so it's not exactly, it's, you know, 0.75 uh, of a second. So anyway, yeah, two per second. Um, so we should have all of these uh, proceeding apace, that's for sure. Now then, we have, what is going on with this? I need to get some of these uh, undergroundies. The yellow undergroundies. There we go. All right, where is the output for these guys? Looks like it's in the middle and it's going that way to the left. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, and it wants wooden power poles. I know where some of those are. Hello, stuff. All right, we can do it. Not a problem. Just use those because these are meant for early game. This is not meant for us to continue on to advanced oil processing without doing this. <laughs> I'm highly amused by this, if you couldn't tell. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get some stuff off the line. We right now are having issues with iron, looks like it. Let's just cross over here and get these guys going on here. Um, yeah, and so I'm going to have to get that worked out somehow okay take this go this way uh but what we're gonna do is probably import iron from our iron outpost because that's the whole point of doing the outposts is to get that made and sort of collected and done and stuff and things and all the things and all the stuffs okay that's nearest gonna go there okay there we go oh I know there's a mod called 
slow fast replays or something like that but I just that's not what I want I just want it removed from the game entirely I don't like fast replays at all it's like it gives me nightmares okay and copper is next oh my god the cats sound like they're rearranging the house not quite sure what they're doing probably something very naughty oh yes the little cat is running with her tail in the air like a little fox she's so cute um well actually i should say she's she's actually the big one now <laughs> she's the young one but she's the big one <laughs> she's grown quite a bit bigger than eleanor already okay there we go let's get this moved on red circuits go 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 ran out of belt and we've got to pick up more belts inventory full yes of course i know i know it's full already we can delete this so we don't have to worry about other stuff okay and nanobots can take care of that thank you very much and at some point we're gonna have to just basically get rid of all the stuff that we don't need here and start converting it okay looks like we are having science made this is looking pretty good i think we could use some balloon lights here so let me just add them it's just starting to look really dark of course there are regular lights that are wanting to be put down but of course we don't have bots to put them yet so let's get out our blueprint for blue science blue and gray science as it happens they are um let's see now this is meant to link on to the red right here like this as i recall okay so let's put this down and we'll get all these things kind of put down with it and then we'll get probably our lab thing over here maybe go 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 stuff so while these guys are working, we can kind of look at this other area. What we have here is if you're new to the game, I know I plop these blueprints down pretty fast, but I would like to explain what they're doing. So what you have is we have a grouping for red science and green science. So what's going on here is that the initial thing for red science is making gears. It's getting iron from over here. And this looks very confusing, but what it is, it's just an underground belt going that way. Um, What's going on is that we have a special a uh, construction here where it puts the uh, copper only on one side of the belt on the inside because the um, inserters always place on the outside of the belt on the far side of the belt. So what we want is the copper on one side and the gears on the other. If you mix them together, you have very serious problems. And then these red uh, science making machines are just going to grab these things up and then put them on the belt. They're not grabbing right now because the belt is already full up here. They are still going to grab as they go through their cycles and they'll, this guy will put another thing and then we'll get some more stuff. There we go. Uh, and so that's red science. Now I always place them opposite of green science, just because it fills up the belt. Uh, so what we're doing now is looks like we're short on something. Oh, we're short on <laughs> yeah green circuits because I have reversed the belt. There we go. So what we have here is we've got a couple of gear makers. One gear maker serves the um, inserter machine. Okay, and it grabs uh, the iron to make the gears and the gears get transferred into this thing because it needs gears and plates and green circuits. And you can see it going now it's all placing these guys same thing here i like to place on opposite sides of the belt again we have the gear maker feeding the um uh belt making machine and all of those go and so we have the whole thing is filled with belts and we just started making the inserters because we hadn't had the green circuits um going there uh, until just now but yeah you can see them already the green science is starting to come on the belt uh, and this makes a very very nice little neat combo of those two sciences and so all of my uh, science things are kind of based off of that here we're going to have the green and, and uh, gray being opposite of each other and I'll show you how those work the ratios I got uh, from the Kirk McDonald uh, calculator which I, I prefer that one it's really nice um 
and I'll, I, I don't know if the link is in the description, but it is on my Discord. So if you pop by the Discord, it is actually in, in all of, I have a, um, a pinned post at the top of my, uh, in Sky Chat, where it tells you where to get these things. Uh, it's a factorial references. I have a whole bunch of reference material in there that you can check out. It's really very handy. I look at it uh, constantly when I'm designing things. So hopefully it will be useful to you as well. Um, or just search Kirk McDonald. I hope that should be... I don't know. I, I've never tried searching just Kirk McDonald, but it should be working. Anyway, it looks like we're really short on iron, which is very inconvenient here. I think what we want to do, though, is put these guys... I want to say output priority to the left, output priority to the left. Does that fill it up? Sort of. But we want to grab it from there too. Well, it's getting better. I kind of thought we would want to do like something like this way. Does that work better? Yeah, that's what we want to do. Okay, cool. Just use the fast replace for the only useful thing it does. But, okay, cool. So this is kind of what we want to happen here. It's looking pretty good. This looks a little bit weird because it's all in red belts, but I think we can upgrade these guys to be like this. But the problem is, of course, is the inputs are only uh, yellow speed. So even if we're upgrading these belts, <laughs> I'm just upgrading them for the visual look, to be honest, because I know some people are bothered by little bits here and there looking kind of strange. So anyway, OK, so this actually can go here. Get more over there. OK, so now we have all of this going on. Now we can fill out these guys. These guys had some yellow belts here, and I probably need to go pick up some more. There were only 26 left in the box, so we'll have to get some more after that. But look at this beautiful rows of red and green signs just coming off the line. Very, very pretty. All right, come on, bots. Just get all this. Oh, dear. Dear, dear me. No, 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 no. That does not look right at all. Let's figure out what else. Let's just put that back down again. Let's replop this blueprint because that was really kind of scary looking. There we go. Did I literally have something there? I guess I did. Oh, you're. it is actually correct. Look at that. I don't know why this is there. This might be a mistake, the red thing. But this, I think, actually goes there. Okay, I didn't see the inserter there. That's why I thought it was a mistake. Okay, it's all good. Let's let the bots plop all this stuff. But anyway, the uh, the calculator allows you to specify saying, you know what, you want X amount of product per second uh, or per minute, per hour, whatever. And uh, it tells you how many machines of what to put down. So it's quite handy that way. And I really find it very useful for calculating things especially when one's brain feels like it's on the blink. So to, oops, let's just realign this. Boom. There we go. Yep. The radar was interfering there with stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really very useful. And you can also put in how many speed modules you have and other stuff like that, uh, which makes it even more handy. Okay. Come on guys. Oops. We need we need to delete something here. Let's delete this. And I need... What the heck do I need? Oh, assembly machines. That's what I needed. I was like, I just remembered it. The brain just worked for a moment. And then it was gone. But that happens. And, oh, we need, need yellow inserters. Oh, we do not need fish. Go away, fish. Let me grab the yellow inserters as well. I forgot a lot of the old designs are the... They're meant for early game. Uh, at this point, we should be really just using like fast inserters for everything just for the sake of carrying less stacks of stuff.
Looks like we need the red inserters as well. Let's go back to the mall, grab those things. These things can go. And then we're probably going to need to pick up uh, the labs as well. Wow, look at all this science being done. That's so exciting. So good. All right, nanobots, take your time. You want to make sure everything is correct. Don't want any stragglers. We want all the things to work quite nicely. And of course, the first thing we want to have happen is advanced oil processing. We really ran out of reds again? Wow. All right. Cool. Using a lot of inserters. It's fine, though. All right, these guys, yeah, we're still making those. Good, good. Okay, let's go. Walking up and down the lines. We have red inserters on sale, for sale right now. Let's go. Sometimes the patterning of the nanobots is a little bit odd or you don't remember where they started or stopped or something. So it's like you kind of got to go to a place and then wait for a bit. Uh, but I think we're ready. I think we're actually ready now. Um, and then on my blueprints, these are all in the uh, the Google Docs thing, by the way. I have these indicators. Now these constant combinators are just to show you what goes on each line. Um, since there are no inner outer indicators, it just means we want steel and copper on this specific line uh, and such and so forth. But there's a lot of connecting to do and I think we're just gonna save that for the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.